How to fix IPv4 properties not working in Windows 10, 8.1, 7. For Windows 10 users, 1. With the admin right, run the following command in PowerShell, set Dean's client server address interface alias Ethernet server addresses triple x dot x x dot triple x dot triple x x dot x dot x dot x triple x dot x x dot triple x dot triple x x dot x dot x dot x hint, Ethernet is the name of your network adapter or connects which is set by default dot if you just don't know that value, run get net adapter physical where status eq up in PowerShell. And, four sets of x is the IP address. Edit raspone.pbk. File, s, at c colon backslash users backslash username backslash appdata backslash roaming backslash Microsoft backslash network backslash connections backslash pbk backslash underscore hidden pbk backslash, with the application notepad. Note, the file is hidden by default. You may need to make hidden items appear temporarily. When you open the pbk file, look for IP prioritize remote, set its value from 1 to 0. Then look for IP interface metric, and set its value to 1. 3.
Enable split tunneling only if you are using a VPN. Launch PowerShell with admin privileges, run the following two commands, get VPN connection set VPN connection name your VPN name split tunneling dollar true other voices on the web, 1. Check your system for malware with the recommended Avast internet security in this video guide. 2. Run the following command in PowerShell, with the admin right, set Dean's client server address interface alias my connection server addresses 208.67.222.222,8.8.8.8,208.67.220.220,8.8.4.4 note, change my connection to the exact name of your own internet connection as well as IP addresses. 3. Install the mis- slash pending updates for your windows. 4. Use a different VPN client like CyberGhost VPN in this video guide. 5. Disable Datamandra Coordinator Service. 6. Remove all the problematic applications, i.e., Aztec Media, using the recommended Uninstall Tool Pro in this video guide. Hint, you may also perform a clean boot in your Windows. 7. Flush your DNS and reset your connection, with PowerShell. To do so, run the following commands as the admin, netshare winsock reset netshare interface ipv4 reset netshare interface ipv6 reset ip protocol configuration slash flush and eight. Delete a subfolder at hkey underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash control backslash network in registry editor. 9. If you've tried restarting your computer and router, if any, but try, netshare IPv4 reset netshare IPv6 reset IP protocol configuration slash release IP protocol configuration slash renew IP protocol configuration slash flush and then restart your computer. If that doesn't work, scan your system for potential malware with the aforementioned Avast Internet Security.